And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Do you know Peter? Peter asked him, said, Lord, where are you took us to this day? When the lame were walking, when Lazarus was raised from the dead, they never asked that their faith might be increased. But when Jesus said, if somebody sins against you seven times in a day Akazoka. and comes back to you Achiti sorry. and says, I'm sorry, you should forgive him or her. Peter. Ah. And Peter said, Nyayayo. that issue increase my faith. Like I said, says Randa Taura, this is a promise that we don't normally talk about. I want you to know whether you are young or old. Whether you are poor or rich. If you are still alive, it's impossible for offenses not to come. It's impossible. They don't come because you are rich. They don't come because you are poor. They don't come because you are educated. They don't come because you are not educated. Offenses just come. Anybody who can say amen here. Is that true? An offense is a trap. It is a device used by the enemy to cripple a person. It's a trap. People who are offended, they are not aware that they are under a trap. But when you are offended, the enemy uses the trap which is the offense to cripple you. You suffer and you weep Wachema. and you cry Wounguza. but your cry kwako. doesn't bring results Akunzi minduro. because you are crying Nekuturukuchema. from a bitter heart Kuva mumoyo waka gumbuka. when you are crying from a bitter heart Kana uchichema ne moyo waka gumbuka. when you are praying from a bitter heart Love so I can tell you what I want to say. You'll be saying, Jesus, have mercy on me. I'm in pain, O God. I'm in pain, O God. But deep down under your heart, you'll be saying, God, fix him. Fix it. Yeah. on my behalf. Beat him up for me. Says no As your word says. The vengeance is yours, oh God. If God gave us according to how we sinned against him. Many of us would not be here. So the cry of your eyes because you were offended is not prayer. It's offense. We want to start afresh. I don't want to get into a year. 
when my heart is bleeding because of somebody who eat rapoko ah I can't recognize and be happy in a year as good as this. Because somebody touched my heart and offended it. This year, we want to say, Jesus, I make a choice to forgive. There are people who have lives that are crippled. Why? Because they are angry. Somebody doesn't start by being bitter. He first gets offended. And he keeps that offense. And he keeps that offense. That's when you see the mangoes with flowers. We call that a flower stage. And it's preached and you say, I've forgiven. The bad thing is, if you are offended because of someone, God lifts that person up. Maybe you, you have offense over them. He comes here. Over He sings. The Lord the God in the midst of thee is mighty. Won't go and is mighty. And everybody's singing along. And you are seated there. Mm -hmm. oh. What are you singing along? For? What is it that they've sung? Let me go out so I can come ah, back when ah, it's done. You come back after it's done and you pray. And you lift your hands and you say, God is good. When you have come back when it's done. Let's start afresh. This Let's amen. start afresh. 